Hi everyone, welcome to this video. This is going to be a quick and dirty tutorial on setting up triple monitors with R Factor 2. Um, I say it's quick and dirty because I don't have a triple monitor set up here at the moment to do this with, but I need to demonstrate to the uh, lovely Cat MP um, how to get her triples working, and it might be of use to some other people. Uh, so the first thing hopefully you've done is installed the NVIDIA control panel which will be part of the drivers that come with your um, graphics card and you need to put a custom resolution in as you can see I've only got one monitor so I'm going to be flying blind a little bit and uh, excuse me if I miss out a step that doesn't work with triple monitors when I get a triple monitor set up um, sorted I'll, I'll redo this video make sure everything's alright okay so the first thing you want to do is you'll have three monitors showing across the top here uh, go into the change resolution select you only need to do this on one monitor select one monitor go to customize create custom resolution okay so the native resolution of this monitor that I'm using is 1920 by 1080 you need to put this horizontal pixels to three times the 1920 so I'll use the calculator. 19, 20, 3. So 5760. 5760. Good test. Okay, so I'm going to have to revert back because it's completely wrong. Uh, but you'll you'll press yes. And then what that'll do is that'll give you a custom resolution that will show up under this PC section. It will show you a different uh the triple resolution if you like will be available there make sure that you still select and use your native resolution um, here just you just want the option to be available um, somewhere in this list and I believe it's not, it's just under the word PC here okay then you can quit out of Nvidia control panel and a little note for cat I've already done this so you don't need to you don't need to have done that part next thing to do is to run R Factor 2. Okay, so once the R Factor 2 launches up, go to the gear icon, settings, video settings, and then I've got one monitor showing here, but you'll have three. Now you need to go to the monitor that you changed and did that custom resolution for, or just scroll through them. So start with monitor one and go to resolution and in whichever monitor you you did that custom resolution in Nvidia control panel that under here that resolution will show so you'll have the 5760 by 1080 in my case um, show in this list click on that resolution you'll also have the option there to to do window multi view, put it in windowed mode, select your refresh rate, and go OK. Then you can go to single player, or there is another way to do it, and that's just to fire up half X2, don't bother touching the video settings. Because you can also find the video settings in game and you can change them. It's very much the same as what we've just done there. Just 
just looks slightly different. Okay, so if you want to do it in game, if you forget to do it at, the set, at that video settings section, or you just prefer to do it this way, go to options, mm -hmm. video resolution, yeah. and again, you can scroll through the monitors that are available to you. I've only got one, you'll have three, mm -hmm. and you can choose your resolution. And you you will have the option of um, selecting multi view here, and you can stretch and click stretch UI as well. And then when you're done, press apply changes. Now using this method, there is another method which uses Nvidia surround, but it's problematic for some people with some monitors. So this is the reason why we're going this, we're showing you this uh, way to do it. Doing what we've just done, everything will show up only on one monitor until the point you get into the car and then all three monitors will work. So one other thing you might want to be uh, aware of for triple monitors, setting the field of view. So if you go to settings, display you can change your oops, change your vertical field of view here and you should set your seat to be adjustable because you'll want to be able to position yourself properly in the car you can also set uh, under miscellaneous I think it is uh, ah yeah sorry uh, so under seat you've got the option to set a um, key press to increase your field of view or decrease your field of view scroll through in case there's anything else I can think to point out here that might be useful locking enabled Okay, so I hope that was clear, hope that works for you. If it doesn't, um, because I'm going to do this video again when I've got triples myself to uh, set up, uh, if you've got any questions then please feel free to uh, comment, um, or if you've got any experience yourself, uh, please comment and then I can include that uh, in the next video. So until then, thanks for watching, uh, please subscribe to the channel and catch you again later.